Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto Realtor. Behind me, 75 Portland was built by Peter Freed. Right here, not this one, but this one here. It's uh, the Thompson, the first one that was built, 550 Wellington, 55 Stewart, okay? Passing 20 and 32 Stewart here. King West. King West prices are averaging now 1100 a foot to 1200 a foot. Now you'd think that by now the prices for King West would be way higher. And they should have been way higher. However, we had interest rates, we had COVID, which depressed prices. All these beautiful condos here are selling for less than what they sold a year and two years ago. All these beautiful condos here, King West, where everybody wants to be, are selling for less and what they sold a year and two years ago. And the other thing is, they're selling for way less, 30, 40, 50% less than what pre-construction sells for. How is that? But that's because the developers have very high cost to build and these buildings were built a while ago. They're already completed. You don't even have to pay occupancy fee on them, the phantom mortgage. You don't have to pay any of that. You don't have to pay closing costs. You have to pay developer charges. So resale condos at the moment are leading the way with affordability. And houses are not doing that bad either. Now, if you look at a project like the well, right there, the well, that's way more expensive. And it has to be more expensive because it was sold for more. Nothing sold there, as far as I know, for under 1,300 a foot. You can expect 1,500 a foot to 2,000 a foot over there. <laughs> but right behind me here, you can get a unit for 1,000, 1,100, and 1,200 a foot. Isn't that something? So if you in the market to buy, you need to know a couple of things. One is there are very few units in the market. The second is the interest rates are higher which pushing prices down and getting a lot of people to not buy right now and then leaves units longer on the market and sellers which we call weak sellers they need to sell they're gonna drop the prices in order to sell it so perhaps this is your chance to buy before interest stabilizes and then comes down which i, I imagine will happen the next year and two 2024 2025 so these beautiful buildings here can give you very good value for your money and a possible, a very good upside within a few short years. And remember, a few short years in real estate is not a long time. Real estate is a long-term thing. And we've had a lot of hiccups in the market. And every time there was a hiccup in the market, somebody comes in and makes a bunch of money because they go to what's called the distressed seller. They have to sell, whether it's an assignment they sold cheap, and I have a bunch of those, whether it's a resale, beautiful units here, resale unit, and you can just grab it without worrying so much because the price is probably be the lowest, probably, no one knows the future for sure, but probably gonna be the lowest it will be because the price has dropped from last year and the year before and the expectation is that the moment that interest rates start to come down, the entire economy is going to boom. So prices, jobs, everything will boom again. And we're expecting this boom 2024, 2025. I believe this could happen. Therefore, it could be that grabbing a resale unit right now, anywhere in the city, got to do the homework, ask me for the stats and the numbers, I'm good at that could be a very good opportunity for you. So that's it for this video. Yossi Kaplan, your friendly Toronto realtor. Thank you.